Did you know, according to the latest studies, 40% of your daily activities are habitual. And that's why Benjamin Franklin famously once said, most people die at 25, but they're not buried until 75. And I can't tell you how true this is in today's day and age, as most people, they are literally sleeping awake. They get to the end of their life full of regrets and what ifs. And it is for this reason it's important that you pay close attention to today's video where I'm going to be breaking down the five habits you need to give up right now if you want to be more successful. And so make sure to pay close attention, especially to the final fatal bad habit, because that is the thing that you need to be unblocked from right now. Without further ado, let's go on to the first bad habit you need to give up, which is crumbling under pressure. Here's a big difference between winners and losers. Losers, the moment they begin to feel the winds of life, the moment they begin to fall down and crumble and feel that pressure, what do they do? They begin to give up. They begin to tell themselves, oh, you don't know what I'm going through. Oh, it's hard. Whilst the winners on the other side, what do they tell themselves? They realize it's real and it's good. It's part of the process. They realize the strongest trees don't grow in the best soil. It grows in the strongest winds. And they understand that they can control it. You see, the problem arises when we think we're the only ones who feel pressure and then allow ourselves to get overwhelmed by it. When in fact, other people around you feel this pressure. What dictates success? is how you handle this. What peak performers and high performers have all got in common is they have got a neutral relationship to this energy and they reframe it to give them more energy. What they tell themselves when they feel nervous, they tell themselves, I feel excited. And they jump onto the stage and they serve to go above and beyond. And so it's how you interpret this information that dictates your outcome. So reframe this and realize that pressure is what creates diamonds. Let's go on to the second bad habit you need to give up, which is negative self-image. Your self-image makes you act like you. The strongest force in the human psychology is the need to remain congruent with how you identify yourself. And so to change your performance, you must change your self-image and you must begin to get out of your comfort zone. You must begin to ask yourself, when you achieve your goals, who are you gonna become? Because that's the true purpose of a goal, is to see who must you become in order for you to achieve that goal. And if you begin to change your self-image to that future vision now, that's the moment you're gonna to begin to act in accordance to your future self-identity. Because right now, if you view yourself negatively, as Zig Ziglar famously once said, you cannot consistently perform in a manner which is inconsistent with the way you see yourself. So you must change the way you're viewing yourself to change the outcome and the results you're currently getting. That is the second bad habit. Let's go on to the third bad habit, which is playing to lose. Let me ask you, on a day-to-day -day basis, are you playing not to lose? Or are you playing to win? This is a big difference. It sounds so simple, but it's a big difference between winners and losers. Losers are literally looking you know, around them thinking, oh, I'm just about scraping by. Whilst winners, they are dominating. Whilst winners, they're doing whatever it takes. They are playing to win. This is a mindset shift that you need to have. Instead of playing not to lose, you gotta play to win. You gotta realize if you're gonna go in at all, go all in. If you're gonna do anything at all, do it properly and do it like a winner would. Own it from the heart and do whatever it takes inside it. Let's go on to a fourth bad habit, which is never committing. Rich people are committed to being rich. Poor people simply think about being rich. And this is why rich continue to get richer and the poor seem to get poorer. Poor people just read more books thinking, yeah, one day this is gonna happen, but yet they never do anything about it. Whilst rich people, what do they do? Speed of implementation. The moment they learn something, they immediately implement it, whilst the poor people just think, oh, I'm just gonna research more, and they never, never, never take action. I want you to write this down. Ready, fire, aim. Get in the game. You wanna know what you want, take action, and then you wanna adjust as you go because your plans will never go 100% as a plan. So realize the fastest way for you to be successful is to get in the game and pivot along the way. When things don't go along the direction that you wanna go to, pivot. Keep on failing forwards. That's how you make your dreams a reality. And that leads perfectly onto the final point, which is the final bad habit, which is dreaming far too small. Do you know how you're gonna make your dreams a reality? 
because if so, you're dreaming way too small. You see, if you shoot for the stars, at least you'll hit the moon, right? But poor people, they don't even shoot for the ceiling in their house, <laughs> and that's why they wonder why they're not successful, right? And I want you to realize that how is none of your business. Elon Musk, he wants to colonize Mars. Richard Branson, he wants to take people out to space on a freaking holiday. Steve Jobs, he wanted to put a ding in the freaking universe. The question is, is what is your goal right now? We've been conditioned to think realistic. We've been conditioned to follow goal setting systems such as SMART, which is full of BS. Listen, Martin Luther King did not stand in front of tens of thousands of people in 1963 and he didn't say, I've got a smart goal. No, he said, I've got a dream. The question is, do you dare to really dream? Do you dare to dream big? Because when you set this audacious goal, that is the thing that will keep you alive. That is the thing that, that will, from the heart, you'll feel that burning desire to make it a reality. This is how you never run out of motivation. By setting a goal that's aligned with your, your intuition, your heart, the thing that you're born to do. And then it becomes your mission to make it a reality. This is what visionary entrepreneurs have got in common. They see things before it happens. The question is, is what do you really, really want out of life? and make it a must to make that a reality. So dare to dream big. These are the five habits that you need to give up right now if you want to be successful. If you found this video helpful inside it, be sure to share this video with your friends and loved ones. Why? Because the more you give, the more you shall receive. So it's about becoming a person of value. So make sure to share this video with your friends and loved ones right now. And like this video if you like this video and comment below in regards to any questions or feedback you, you may have. And as always insider, follow your heart my friend and take action and go live the life you're truly born to live. I'll see you on the next video soon. Take care.